All of a sudden, the RV just dropped on one side and my heart dropped. And I thought the entire RV was going to tip over and rock over and fall. And I thought the RV was just done. We are at the Jonestown Hershey Northeast uh, KOA. It is, like it says, northeast of Hershey, Pennsylvania. We're here for just a night. Have ourselves a, another tight, small little pull through. Uh, but we're here for just a night before heading to our destination where we will be for a few weeks. So quick little overnight stay here. Uh, it was pretty eventful to say the least. Um, the jack situation, which I will talk about here next, was one of the scariest things I've ever experienced. Um, very, very scary experience getting into an argument about the propane tank being filled and I, I hate arguing with people I really do I'm, I'm very kind of just go with the flow just whatever kind of person but I got into an argument with the front desk about the propane tanks because I knew it wasn't totally empty but the next place we were going didn't have a, a refilling station. So I was like, ah, whatever, I'll just top it off. I think I need like, it's about half empty. So, or half full. So I took it up there. I asked if I can pay by the gallon. They told me I could pay by the gallon. So we went out and it only took about three and a half gallons, which normally it's like eight and a half gallons to fill it up. So it was like a third, less than half of a tank. And then when I went in, the lady was charging me a flat fee for just a 30 pound tank and I said well I only I didn't even get I got maybe a third of a tank and she proceeded to just continue to tell me it's their policy to charge for a full tank and even though I asked ahead of time if I could pay by the gallon they would not let me so I'm I'm not a huge fan of KOAs to begin with um, this definitely didn't make it any better but I mean at the end of the day it was a difference of like $13, but uh, with what happened after the Jack situation, it just blew my mind. But we're only here for a night. I didn't want to argue too much because I didn't want to get kicked out of here. So we just dealt with it. It is what it is. It's part of the RV life. Just rolling with the punches, rolling with the flow. But at the end of the day, it's all worth it to live this lifestyle and to live these experiences. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I really wouldn't. Oh man, what an experience we had today. What an experience. So the day was going pretty well. It was a good travel day. We had a five and a half hour travel day yesterday. Today was about a little over two hours. So. Thought it was going to be a nice, quick, simple trip until we started to level. This morning, when I was putting one of our front jacks up, the, the pin was kind of a little tight. And I thought, well, it's our first night in minus 32 degree weather. Sorry, not minus 32, below 32 degree weather. Maybe it was just frozen a little bit. I, I didn't think anything of it. And then when I put the front jacks down to take the weight off of the truck, it was a little, still was a little tight. Still didn't think anything of it because I was able to get the pin all the way in. Well, once I pulled the truck away and I started the auto leveling process, it was going up, going down, going up. All of a sudden, the RV just dropped on one side and my heart dropped and I thought, the entire RV was going to tip over and rock over and fall. And I thought the RV was just done. I was able to get the RV back to its original like hitch height, high enough for me to hitch back up to the truck. So I did that. I took all the weight off of the, the jacks and put all the uh, weight back onto the truck. I, uh, 
I pulled the pin out, put it back in multiple different times, and uh, it seemed to be working totally fine then. I ahead and put the jacks back down a little bit. Um, I didn't pull them out as far this time, so I, just in case if it happened again, it wouldn't drop as far. And I put some weight on it, leaving some of the weight still on the truck. Um, put some weight on it. The pin was in. It was settled in. I even like kind of pulled on it a, a, a little bit to test it. It was fine. Made sure it was totally in. And we pulled the truck away. And I started the auto level. And it did the same exact thing a second time. Pretty scary sound. Uh, I'll tell you that. Your jack falling. Uh, I don't even know, maybe, I mean, it's less than a foot, but your jack falling and, and the RV just tilting to one side like that, it was, it's pretty scary. I mean, this is, this thing fully loaded, 16, 16 and a half thousand pounds, you know, it's eight, over eight tons just leaning and it's your home and it, 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 it was... It was pretty scary. Try to show you, let me see if I have the light here. So I'm gonna try to show you what kind of happened. Um, basically, you can see that that pin, it, it just, I don't know, it just popped out and it just came down. So if you can see that one over there, it's on about the fourth hole and that's how it's supposed to be on this side here. Now, I was able to still auto level. Basically, this side is just raised up higher than that side. Um, so we're fine. We're only here for a night. What I'm going to do is uh, for tomorrow, where we're going to be tomorrow, we're going to be at for a few weeks. So what I'm going to do is just for tomorrow, I'm just not going to put that pin out. I'm just going to... Uh, just leave the pin in that that resting position I, I guess that's what it's called and uh, I'm just gonna put some blocks underneath it and we'll just get it level like that it might, it might take a little extra work to get it level um, but we'll make it work but I'll tell you what man it was probably the scariest thing that I've experienced since since RVing I, I, I thought I really thought it was uh, the RV was gonna be total I thought it was done I mean it was like the noise and it, it seemed like it happened happened so fast but in like slow motion since we're traveling with this broken pin here I didn't want it accidentally popping out while going down the highway so we just have a zip tied up for now I know it's not the best but it's this is our last travel day for three weeks so I'm hoping that just keeps it in place and then I'll have some time to figure it out and work on it. We're off to our next campground. So, see you when we get to the next one. Hopefully. Huh? I said, well, hopefully you're going the right way then. Careful with the... Well, I mean, there's no, like, the Should we keep walking all the way up to the office? <laughs> or should I stop here? Stop here. Let's go outside We can hang out on Can you draw a heart like this scene? Mm -hmm. Mommy's gotta help you Ho, 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 do you want to know? Welcome to the North Pole. Reindeer stables are this way. Santa's workshop is this way. Candy Cane Lane will be that way. The directions on the side.
what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. There was ice sheet about probably that thick on top of the slide toppers. Not good.